people will sketch in a sketchbook, but uh, I find that the pages kind of flutter around on me and I like to have a little support. So I started clipping my sketchbooks to these boards. And then at that point, I sort of thought, why not just bring individual sheets of paper and I can change the size and the format. And so I end up with this situation that's like a desk. Um, and it's on an easel, partially for your camera guys. Sometimes I just carry the board around, just holding it in my hands, uh, which I call the palm desk versus the easel setup. But uh, what do we have here? So there's the drawing actual surface I'm working on and all the tools down the side. And it's all clipped on because at any point, something can happen where you want to leave, like uh, an unpleasant person comes up to you or the security guard says, what are you doing? So I can just pick the whole thing up and walk away. Uh, also for the wind, so that's why everything is clipped on. It's all one unit. And uh, I have all, all my brushes in this case here. Um, this is just like every each size I might use, and I probably only use two or three of these on a given painting. But uh, that's just the thing I keep in my bag full of brushes. This, this little arrow is so that I know what side up because the zipper is broken. So I put this arrow up so they don't fall out. Uh, the little palette I use, uh, it's just a little folding thing you can always have in your bag. And I'll clip that right on there or right onto my sketchbook so that it's at hand. And I find if all of your equipment is accessible while you're working, and you're not digging in your bag for stuff, you just really get a better drawing because it's one less thing to worry about. You're never having to look away from your subject to find the next tool. Uh, typically, I'm using three pens at a time, so I'll have uh, uh, got a bunch in my pocket here, a fine, a brush pen, and um, maybe a bolder pen. And I'm juggling back and forth constantly between them. So what I do is uh, actually do this, which I call the Wolverine, because <laughs> I'm a comics nerd. But uh, then I have all the pens available to me, and I can be holding a sketchbook in one hand and just pull from this palette work with a tool, put it back, you know, onto the next one. Uh, so I can be holding a book or whatever, and they're just there available in my spare hand. So I know that's a little bit weird, but it's a thing that I've developed and you can do it with brushes. Because again, at any time, you might have to pick up your stuff and leave. Sometimes it's just to stay with your subject. Sometimes it's raining, a truck drives in your way, and you just need to move two feet away. So I'm always like, set up to draw while walking. Yeah, water with your watercolor. Uh, water is the heaviest thing that you have to carry around. Uh, so I don't carry very much and, and uh, it gets dirty. As you're working, it gets tinted. So I use these little bottles uh, that are watertight so you can carry them in your bag. That way when one gets dirty, I just pull out another one and I can keep clear color going on my page. And it's also small enough I can just hold it in one hand. So uh, I'm working with the brush I have the pen, or I have the, uh, the water in the cap, and I just have it in one hand while I'm working. And if I have to go anywhere, then I can just seal it back up and put it in my pocket. Uh, that way I'm, like I said, ready to move at any time. And occasionally you will knock the whole thing over. So I used to clip my water bottle onto there as well, but that causes you lose all your water in one go. So I realized it's best to hold the most dangerous thing. If it's a bottle of ink, or, or paint or water. Keep control of the thing that's gonna spill. Take your chances with the rest of it and work that way. <laughs>